guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov. I am the Photoshop artist. Welcome to my studio. Today I will show to you how you can use a symmetry a painting feature in Adobe Photoshop on iPad. I'm super excited about this. So guys, let's start. I have opened Adobe Photoshop and also I have created my simple document. Of course, guys, you can create your document in any size you like. Also, you can use any color for your background. Everything is up to you. Now I have only one layer with a simple white color. I will switch to the brush tool. You can use any brush you are more comfortable with. And in the options bar, I will click on this beautiful butterfly icon. Now I can specify that I would like to use a vertical symmetry um, uh, option for uh, today. I will click on vertical. I will resize it. It's not necessary, guys, but still. And I will click OK to accept my vertical symmetry um, axis. Now I will create a new empty layer using my simple um, brush tool with a red color. I will create a very um, simple um, outline for our apple. Guys, you can create your apple in any shape you like. You can use um, anything you like. It's your imagination. It's your art. And maybe something like this. And let's say I'm happy with this um, a very fast, very rough outline of our simple apple. Now, I would like to continue working on um, my uh, project in Adobe Photoshop on iPad. So what I will do, I will save my document. I will click on save, save as, and I will save my document to cloud documents just like this. I will rename it my Apple tutorial example, and I will click save. Now let me bring my iPad just like this. I will minimize Photoshop and here I have opened my iPad, iPad um, Photoshop on iPad. What I will do? First of all, guys, I will click on cloud documents just like that. And here I supposed to have my Apple, rough outline of my Apple we just created with you guys my Apple tutorial. I will click on it. I will uh, give Photoshop on iPad just a few seconds to open this document. And voila, we are ready to go. And as you notice, guys, I have all my layers. I have my background layer and I have my rough outline of uh, this simple Apple. I will create a new empty layer. To create a new layer in Adobe Photoshop on iPad, simply click on plus icon and voila. I will switch to watercolor brush, long press on um, a brush icon, just like that. And we have all um, these all beautiful brushes ready to work with. I will click on maybe, let's see, watercolor flat. You can change, of course, brushes. Um, uh, your brush at any time and I will change color for my apple. I will be using this um, bright red color. I will increase size of my brush and using uh, this brush I will create my first layer of many colors I will be working with. Just like this. Guys, did you notice that I'm using only one side of my document and Photoshop mirrors everything to the other? Yes, guys. And we are using Adobe Photoshop on iPad. How awesome is it? Now, I will switch to another watercolor brush, watercolor soft. And I will use same color with darker shade. I will create a new empty layer. And using my uh, brush, I will add a few details to my apple. Guys, look at this. I'm using only one side of my document. How awesome is it? I can um, bring down opacity of this uh, layer. I will create new empty layer. I will switch to a uh, white color and I will bring size of my brush down. Using this brush, I will add a few highlights to my apple, just like this. 
Nothing is too complicated, guys. It's super easy. Switching color of my brush to um, yellow will help me to add a few more uh, details to my apple, just like this. And again, I can bring down opacity of my layer. Now, I will um, click on uh, my uh, sketch layer. I will create a new empty layer. I will switch color of my brush to dark uh, brown color. Also, I will bring size of my brush down. Using this brush, I will continue working on my apple, just like that. Now, I will highlight my um, original sketch layer and I will bring down opacity of this layer. Time to start working on our uh, background. I will highlight my background layer, white background layer. I will create new empty layer. I will switch color of my brush to yellow just like that and I will increase the size of my brush and using this brush with yellow color I will start working on my background and again guys I'm using only one side of my document Photoshop mirrors everything to the other I will create new empty layer I will switch to another um, cool color a cold color let's use a dark blue color and using this brush with um, a blue color, I will create shadow under my apple, just like that. And of course, guys, shadow is always darker directly under my, um, uh, directly under any subject. So I will create a new empty layer. I will use a um, darker shade of same color. I will bring size of my brush down and I will add darker shadow directly under my apple. If I will increase size of my brush, I will add more soft um, edge to my shadow. And of course, guys, I can bring down opacity of this layer just like this. Now, definitely uh, I can add uh, top of my uh, background. I will highlight my background layer, original background layer with white color. I will create a new empty layer using dark shade, uh, light shade, I'm sorry, of a blue color with a bigger size of my brush. I will create this simple background just like that. Switching color of my brush to white will help me to add a few more details to my uh, background. I will create a new empty layer and I will add more um, splashes of white color directly behind my apple and the best part is that I'm using only one uh, side of my document and Photoshop does the job for me. Now I will highlight my top layer. I will create a new empty layer using a, a blue color with smaller size of my a brush. I will add a reflection to my apple just like this and again guys because i was using separate layer i can bring down opacity of this layer down just like this so guys this is what i wanted to share with you today as you can see we can use symmetry uh, painting feature in adobe photoshop on ipad how awesome is it i'm super excited about it so guys, thank you so much for being with me. Thank you so much for all your support. Super appreciated. Thank you so much. And I will see you later. Bye.